Okay, now let's talk about date and time. In a lot of projects, we might need to work with dates and time. And in PHP, there are many functions and classes that can help us with that. But now we are going to talk about two functions that can help us with almost 80% of our problems. And they are str to time and date. Now let's see how we can work with them. str to time, which is short for a string to time, taken a string as an argument and then returns a timestamp. In PHP, we will write the arguments of a function inside the parentheses. So the name of the function is str to time. And here we write the arguments. Now in this case, this string should be a time, a date. For example, let me show you something. 26th of August, 2022. If I echo this value right now, I will get a huge number. This number is a timestamp. We will talk about timestamps a little bit later. If the string is something random and it's not valid, it will return false. Let me dump the final value so you can see what it will return if the string is just some random thing. Here, as you can see, it says Boolean false. The format of the string that it can parse is very flexible. Let me show you some example to see the power of this function. For example, as we have seen, we can write 26th of August 2022, something like that. Or we can write the full name of the month, or we can write even the other way around, August 26th, and it will still show me the exact timestamp. It also can be something like standard ISO format, like 26th. And it will still work or we can also use the American format which is 08 25th and 2022 and it still works that's the power of this function not only that but it also can parse a string like this seven days ago and as you can see it takes the current time minus seven days and then tells me uh, the exact timestamp for seven days ago or yesterday it will also work perfectly fine now as you can see it's returning a timestamp uh, what's a timestamp it's a number it's a number of seconds from 1st of january 1970 the timestamp can be formatted to a date later or can be used to do calculation for example as you have seen, it's a timestamp. Let me tell you the timestamp for right now. Echo today. As you can see, this is the timestamp for today. Now let's talk about date. Date is a very useful function. It takes two arguments. The first argument is the format of the date we want it to return. And the second argument, which is optional, is a timestamp. If we don't specify the second argument, PHP will get the timestamp of the current time. Let's talk about the first argument. The first argument, which is a format, is a string. For example, YMD is the standard ISO format for dates, and it would return something like 2022-0825. So let's echo that out date y m d and see what we'll get yes 2022 0508 which is 8th of may as of today but if i specify a timestamp in the second argument we can use a string to time function to get the timestamp that we want for example i can say yesterday yes ter day and it would return 7th of May. Perfect. If I write seven days ago, it will return 
first of me. It's not just about dates in the past. I can get like plus two days. So it would return 10th of May. That's very powerful and it's amazing. Now let's talk about formats. We are already familiar with this format, which as I said is a standard ISO format. There are other formats that we can use. PHP actually has a specified different letters for different formats. Here I will show you some of the formats that are commonly used but you can see a list of formats that I have prepared for you from the link in the description. For example, for the day itself, if we say lowercase d represents the day with leading zeros, as you can see, zero, 08. But if I don't want leading zeros, I can write j and it will give me 8. If I want the name of the day, for example, Saturday, Sunday, uh, I can write uppercase D to get three letters. And if I want the full name, I can write L, Sunday. Yeah, it's amazing. Also, I can use other formats to get the time, not just dates. For example, H represents hours, I represents for minutes, and S represents seconds. So if I get it right now, it's 12, 39 and 06, exactly. And I can also get the time zone. If I add T at the end, uppercase T, I will get CEST, perfect. As I mentioned, you can see a long list of these formats in the link I shared in the description. And now we have reached the end of this topic. Let's get to the next one.